Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Monday, February 20th, 2017. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Philemon. Chapter number, Philemon verses 1 through 3. Scripture says, Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer, and to our beloved Aphia and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, we're going to start a series this week on the book of Philemon, and it's a wonderful little letter here in the New Testament that encourages us to understand about love and forgiveness and with this this letter this this note from Paul to Philemon teaches us a lot about how we need to be treating people who's came to came to Jesus people who one time maybe didn't belong to Jesus but now do and it's an incredibly awesome story and I'm I'm anxious to go through that with y'all this week But to start out, to kind of give us an introduction here, this letter was written by Paul, and he was a prisoner at the time, prisoner in Rome, and he had sent, or he had sent this letter to Philemon along with the letter to the church at Colossae, because Philemon was a, most likely a wealthy, um, one of the more wealthy people in the town of Colossae, and of course the book of Colossians was written to that church, and the church at that time met in the house. And we see here at the end of verse number 2 that Paul is writing to to the church in his house. He's writing to Philemon. He's writing to Apiphia, who many biblical scholars believe is his wife, Philemon's wife, and to Archippus, who the many believe was Philemon's son. So Paul's writing this letter to, to the church at the house, to Philemon, and to his family. And he says, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace, the undeserved favor, grace, the what we're living under now. He's praying grace be upon them and he's praying peace, peace upon them. And that's the things that we're praying today. If he's going to do the things that Paul's writing in this letter... He needs to have the grace and he needs to have the peace. Because Paul's going to be pleading on behalf of a slave that Philemon owned by the name of Onesimus. Who had ran away from him and most likely stole from his master before he ran away. But then he encountered Paul, Onesimus did, there in Rome. And now became a born again Christian. That's the story. And we're going to dig into it starting tomorrow. But for today, this is what I want us to think about. Are we living in grace and peace? We need to have both grace, the grace of God and the peace of God if we're going to live in this world today and function in this world today. Do you have that in your life? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Go deeper in your Bible study with Talking Scripture. Live, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, www.myscripturelinks.com.